Here we go. Another season full of exciting possibilities begins. And so begins a journey for football fans around the world. Every football fan is eager to see how their club performs, whether it's challenging for titles, fighting to stay up and avoid relegation, or simply just improving from last season. This season, like every other season, is worth watching due to many squad managerial changes. Will they help the squads? Hurt them? We have some predictions on what we think will happen this season. Some of our predictions are based on information, and well, others are just on vibes. The Leagues First, let's dive into the English Premier League. Manchester City have established an unprecedented dominance in the Premier League, winning their fourth consecutive title last season, making it six out of the last seven seasons, all achieved under the guidance and leadership of Pep Guardiola. However, they've had a lot of competition to win these titles, with Arsenal giving them a run for their money, figuratively and literally. The Gunners for the past two years have been on top of the table for the most time, but haven't managed to lock in and finish the job. Well, third time is the charm, right? Arsenal surely have learned from their mistakes. As the saying goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Surely Arsenal will do everything in their power to not have history repeat itself a third time. Having worked with Pep, Arteta without a doubt knows how much effort it will take to defeat his mentor, and I think this will help him guide his team to finish and win the title this year. Think about it. Last year they lost the title by two points. Had they won one more game, they would have won the title. The year before that, they lost the title by five points, where they lost two of their last five games, once again showing that if they had won those games, they would have won the title. Keeping the base of the squad practically the same, these players know what it's going to take to beat City. I think it's going to be another head-to-head -head battle, this time with Arsenal winning it. One of the most common sights for Liverpool has been that of Jurgen Klopp running up and down the sideline, leading and encouraging his team. But not this year. After almost a decade, the Reds are under new management with Arnie Slot. Yes, the base of the squad remains the same. The same players who have played an integral part in last season's top three fight. Yes, there are superstars like Salah, Van Dijk and Alisson who have been key to Liverpool's success. But based on history, change in management in Liverpool hasn't led to immediate success. In the first season that Jurgen Klopp took over, Liverpool finished eighth. From the season prior, they had finished sixth. Before Klopp, in Brendan Rodgers' first season, the club finished seventh place, having finished in eighth the prior season. A slight improvement. Now that's not to say that Liverpool will 100% regress under slot, but you have to consider that there will be a period of adjustment for the Reds, especially when you think about the impact that Klopp had with his style of play in the club. The question lies in whether Slot will take the foundation that was left for him and make slight adjustments to make it his own, or if he will try and create a whole new brand of football. Let's move to Spain and La Liga. Real Madrid ended last season winning La Liga and the Champions League, and have started off flying, winning the UEFA Super Cup. With the additions of Kylian Mbappe and Endrick, their already deep squad becomes even stronger. Adding Mbappe to a frontline already featuring Vinicius Jr and Rodrigo has created a new fearsome trio that can decide matches on their own. Oh, and right behind them you have the likes of Jude Bellingham and Federico Valverde running the midfield. With this squad, Real Madrid will surely eye for the highly coveted sextuple, a feat of winning all six available titles in a season. Done only twice, now once in 2009 by Barcelona and the other in 2020 by Bayern Munich. Real has come close in the past, but usually falls short by missing out on the Copa del Rey, the domestic cup competition in Spain. But with the depth of the squad this season, they have a better chance of winning it all. By beating Atalanta 2-0 in the UEFA Super Cup final, they are one trophy closer to achieving that goal. Will they do it? What do you think? Now, let's move over to the Bundesliga. Last season, Xavi Alonso and Leverkusen took the world by storm by breaking records and winning the Bundesliga in an undefeated fashion. 
putting an end to Bayern Munich's run of 11 successive league titles. But we all know defending the title is usually much harder due to the added pressure of being champions and will not have that same success this season. Teams throughout history have struggled to repeat their level of success when faced with the great pressure that comes with being the defending champion. Take Leicester City, for example. After their fairy tale win in the Premier League, the following season they dropped to 12th place. Now, I'm not saying the same will happen with Leverkusen, but it is more likely that they won't repeat as Bundesliga champions. You might be saying, how can I be saying that about a team that just finished undefeated and dominated the league? Well, when you consider that they now have a target on their back, every game is going to be that much more difficult. Look at what happened after Arsenal's invincible season. Chelsea, under the guidance of Mourinho, dominated the league and won the league, almost undefeated themselves, only losing one game. Which brings me to the next point. Bayern Munich surely want to forget about that nightmare they had last season and will try to do so under new manager Vincent Kompany. Kompany, a legendary figure in European football, has made a name for himself as a promising manager after stints with Anderlecht and Burnley. Yes, let's try to ignore the fact that he immediately got relegated with Burnley after promoting them into the Premier League. Come on, most newly promoted teams tend to struggle, so let's cut him some slack. Buy and hope Kompany can lead their club back to glory and I think he will have some success. The squad has talented players from top to bottom, it's just a matter of getting the best out of them. From veterans such as Manuel Neuer and Thomas Muller, to youngsters like Jamal Musiala and Matthias Tell, Kompany has a talented bunch to work with. His main goal will be to implement his style of play, high pressing, fast transitions and solid defensive organisation. Company's team building skills and high pressure experience will undoubtedly appeal to Bayern. His focus on youth development and readiness to bring younger players into the first team can help Bayern construct a team that can compete for many years to come. Now, let's shift our focus to the European trophies, the UEFA Champions League and Europa League. Winning any trophy consecutively is a difficult feat, but winning the Champions League back to back now that's probably the hardest thing to do at club level. But with the squad depth and attacking prowess that Real Madrid now has with the addition of Mbappe, it seems like this will finally be the year when the French striker can get the most awaited trophy for his collection. Surely it will be a new challenge as the format has changed for this edition of the Champions League. But with a record 15 titles under their belt, Real Madrid has an unmatched pedigree in Europe's premier club competition and will do anything it takes to win yet another trophy. Even if the Red Devils couldn't secure a Champions League place, they have shown great development and ended the previous season in style, winning the FA Cup in the Manchester derby. This shows that the Manchester side has the potential to win the Europa League trophy, considering the strength of their squad and the tactical acumen of their manager, Eric Ten Hag. The club has shown improvement under Ten Hag's leadership, with a more disciplined and organised approach, both defensively and offensively. The squad is a mix of seasoned professionals and emerging talents, which gives United a balance and competitive edge in a tournament like the Europa League. Ten Hag's tactical approach emphasises pressing, quick transitions and maintaining a solid defensive structure, which are crucial elements in knockout competitions. His ability to rotate the squad effectively while maintaining a high level of performance ensures that United can cope with the demands of both domestic and European fixtures. With this, Manchester United is a strong contender to win the Europa League. Time to talk about some players. Kylian Mbappe's dream move to Real Madrid will prove to be one of his best decisions as it will bring the chance of winning the 2025 Ballon d'Or award towards him. His explosive pace, clinical finishing and ability to create chances make him one of the most feared attackers in world football. Real Madrid, with their rich history of success and global fan base, provides the perfect platform for Mbappe to showcase his abilities on the grandest stage. To clinch the Ballon d'Or, Mbappe will need to lead Real Madrid to domestic and European success. The Champions League in particular is a competition that carries immense weight in the Ballon d'Or voting. Consistent individual performances, coupled with team trophies, will significantly enhance his chances. With Real targeting the sextuple, Mbappe will target the 2025 Ballon d'Or. 
The Argentine maestro has conquered virtually every accolade in football, from multiple Ballon d'Or awards to World Cup glory. An MLS Cup victory would add another milestone to the already extraordinary career. Messi's move to Inter Miami marked a new phase in his career, where his goals shifted from winning every possible European title to expanding his legacy and contributing to the growth of football in the United States. Despite being in the twilight of his career, Messi has shown that he can still deliver moments of brilliance that captivate audiences worldwide. Winning the MLS Cup would be the perfect way to cap off his remarkable career and show that he adapted well to a new league. With a feeling of fulfillment, this little magician would definitely want to retire on a high note after accomplishing such a remarkable feat. So what do you think about these predictions? What are some of your predictions for the upcoming season? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.